This is the charming medieval town of Loche in the south of the Touraine region. It's famous for its royal chateau where several kings lived in the 15th and 16th centuries. Every Wednesday and Saturday, the small town of about 6,000 people comes to life with a very good farmer's and artisan's market. Now this is La Charbonnet. It is real peasant food. It is some pork guts, the heart, the lungs, lots of bits cooked in wine and blood very slowly and of course it is delicious. Even the local baker displays his specialties in the street. La galette aux pommes de terre. The potato galette. Pomme de terre. Potato. Du feuilletage pur beurre. Puff pastry with butter. Et alors quelque chose de primordial de l'amour pour la fabrication. And very importantly ouais. plenty of love Et to make it. Delicieux. And it delicieux. is delicious. Very voilà. delicious. Mm. Good. In a nearby small farmhouse every morning at 6.30, Camille Escherzo milks a herd of 125 goats to produce one of the most recognizable cheeses in France. I am amazed how soft and friendly the goats are. At the back of the milking shed, Camille's husband, François, feeds the animals with food exclusively from their organic farm and looks after the baby goats. In the fromagerie, once the unpasteurized milk has become curd, Camille pours it into long cylindrical molds which have little holes to let the whey escape overnight. The fresh goat cheese is then unmolded and carefully rolled in a mix of pine ash and salt. Les Buchettes de Saint-Maur, as the cheese is called, matures for up to two months. It is really delicious. The texture is amazing on the tongue and the aftertaste leaves some kind of a floral effect. It's great. Merci Camille. Merci à vous. These poached peaches with an elegant strawberry and sparkling Vouvray sauce were often served to the kings of France in their local chateaux. I first bring six cups of water to the bowl with half a vanilla pod and 400 grams of sugar. In another pot of boiling water, I blanch six peaches for one minute, then drain the peaches, transfer to a bowl of cold water and peel them carefully. Next, I simmer the peeled peaches in the water syrup. I am going to poach the peaches for about 10 to 15 minutes and at all stages, I'm going to be very gentle with them because they are so delicate. Next, I blend 400 grams of strawberries to a puree and mix in three tablespoons of sweetened whipped cream and about one glass of local Vouvray sparkling wine. I place the drained peaches on plates, spoon the strawberry sauce over and sprinkle with chopped pistachio nuts. These peche poche au coulis de fraise et vouvray pétillant are truly a dish fit for a king. This is the restaurant of the great French chef Paul Bocuse and tomorrow we'll discover why the city of Lyon is known as the gastronomic capital of France.